Hey everyone. Um, sorry that it's a bit dim in here. Um, the sunlight is so bright today, it's properly washing my face out and I look a bit strange. So um, this is a review on the Krylan Anti-Shine Powder. Um, and you'll have to excuse me if my tummy rumbles uh, whilst I'm doing this. I'm really, really hungry, but I'm waiting for the kettle to boil so I can make my pasta. Um, but anyway, uh, I got this from a shop in London called Charles Fox. It's near Covent Garden um, for a reasonable price. And I've been using it for about a week now. And I think it's amazing. So, um, okay, you know the drill of my reviews. Um, this packaging is functional. Um, that's the best I can say about it, to be honest. It is a classic case of um, function over form. It does the job. It doesn't need to look attractive. It's theatre makeup. You don't need it to look attractive. It doesn't need to be have all the grandeur of a Chanel compact or anything. So, with that out the way, you know, that's, I mean, I didn't really expect much from the packaging anyway, so... This is what it looks like. Um, inside, it's a fairly simple sifter jar, you know, but it doesn't have the convenient um, little sliding disc that the Laura Mercier powder has, so you can't close it up. Um, with that in mind, they do have two stickers on the inside of the jar. They have a big sticker and then it's split down the middle. And what they do advise is that they say for for a smaller application, remove only the white side and then for really full application, take off the black side as well. Um, and I took that advice a little bit further and only took off a quarter of um, the, the white side. So I've only taken off a quarter of the entire sticker. Um, that's because... I know that I'll probably take this at some point on an aeroplane and I don't want to open it and then <laughs> have all the product in the lid and then it will go everywhere. So I've just taken off a tiny bit of the sticker just to allow me to get to the product and that serves me fine, that's that's just right for me. Uh, it doesn't leak too badly or anything. Um, but this is a 30 gram jar, it's an incredibly large amount of product and it will last you. 24 months, that'll last you two years, so that's how long it's good for. Um, what else? There's not much else I can say about this, to be honest. So, the product, um, as you can see, it is a white powder. It feels somewhat gritty to me, it's not entirely smooth. It feels like I can't really describe it, it's just maybe like really fine sand in it, it like it's quite smooth but then it feels there's something gritty or grainy in it uh, but this doesn't feel like it on the face uh, it doesn't feel gritty on the face um, apparently it's really really comparable to Asian rice powder um, that would probably be because there's only two ingredients in it and um, one of them is um, rice starch or dimethy dot 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 of the rest of the word I can't even begin to think about pronouncing um, dimethyl dot 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 rice starch and uh, the other ingredient is talc which really surprised me because normally products with high talc seem to make me oily but this doesn't um, so it's a loose powder so it's not especially convenient for on the go touch ups um, it doesn't feel gritty on the skin as I've said, it actually goes on really really smooth um, it doesn't go on white on the skin either, it's completely translucent um, what I will say about this is a little goes a long way um, I use it with a ginormous puffy brush which is a bit wet so it's not it's not on full form because it's just been deep cleaned but what I do is I just dip it into the powder and literally just sweep around the face you don't even need to stipple it on and buff it around I just sweep it on with a huge powder brush just to give myself a loose finish um, so I think it's brilliant for that um, it's really really light on the skin I can barely feel it on my skin I can't no, no more than a normal powder so that's I really like that as well like, it doesn't feel like anything it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything at all um, who can wear this um, 
people with really oily skin will benefit wonderfully from this. Um, people who want to make their foundation last a bit longer um, during the day. Um, what else? Um, people who want to make their makeup look more matte uh, or keep their makeup more matte. Um, it's not necessarily good for sensitive or acne prone skin. The reason I say that is there have been a couple of reviews on Makeup Alley that have mentioned that um, they broke out from using this product. Um, I haven't, but then I don't really have sensitive skin. Um, but there's only two ingredients in it, so unless you're allergic or you have a really, really, really sensitive skin, then in general you should probably be okay. Um, so there have been a few bad reviews about this. Very few though. Um, the most part people are saying this is their holy grail product, which I think is pretty unanimous uh, across the board. Um, so the results. How did I wear this? I wore this, um, I road tested it over every single face product I own. I tested it over Chanel Matte Lumiere, I tested it over my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which generally gives me an oily forehead quite quickly and I tested it over my Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturiser with the Laura Mercier Mineral Foundation over the top which is like an oil match made in heaven for me. If I wear the Tinted Moisturiser and the Mineral Powder whew, I literally just come out and shine in an hour. Um, so I tested it all over all three in it, out of curiosity mainly to see how well it performed and it performed incredibly in every single category. Um, but I normally put it on at about 9 o'clock in the morning and by 12 hours later I, my face, I mean it felt a bit oily to touch but it didn't, I wouldn't have known it was oily unless I'd actually felt my skin because I couldn't feel it on my forehead and normally if I wear sheer glow or um, Bobbi Brown with the Laura Mercier over the top I have to go wash my face by 8pm because it gets so uncomfortable like I can feel my forehead feels like an oil slick and I actually have to go wash my face because I'd rather have my face feeling tight than like an oil slick. It's just horrible. I just hate having oily skin. Um, so I didn't use, I didn't touch up with this I've ne in any of my experiments. I don't touch up with it anyway. I'm quite lazy about makeup. I never touch up unless I'm going out. Um, and it lasted all day for me. It was a really amazing performance from this. Um, it set my foundation really really well. Uh, it did accentuate my dry patches slightly. I have uh, one there and then in between my eyebrows with particularly bad bits. But you know, no more than any other set setting powder. Um, but I will tell you that since I have bought this I have not even looked at Max Block Powder. I haven't even taken it out of my makeup box. I've literally used this every single day. Um, it's it's like an addiction. It's abs it's amazing. I've never seen such a well performing product for such a good price. Um, so uh, I've had no breakouts from this. I've had no adverse reactions, and I've had no clogged pores. So it's super super light, it doesn't settle into your pores, it doesn't settle into your fine lines and it controls your oiliness, I mean it's amazing. Uh, in terms of price I paid about £11 for this, just over I think. Um, you, uh, US buyers you can buy it from Shrinkle on eBay, I'll put a link in the sidebar, uh, for about $14 or so, that doesn't include shipping. Um, so it's really really cheap, it's really cheap. Uh, for such an amazing product I couldn't, I can't believe how good it is. I normally take these things with a pinch of salt but I literally, I can't believe how amazing this is. Um, so when I repurchase this I will probably use this until either it stops working for me or they discontinue it because I think this is absolutely incredible but given the amount that I've used in a week which is hardly any I think that's going to take quite a while to work through. Uh, the only complaint I have is the packaging. I wish they would create a more travel sized version or um, a compact but I understand that it's theatrical makeup so it's not really meant for uh, everyday use from the average beauty consumer. So yeah, uh, I absolutely love this and hopefully that's helped you. So uh, take care.